unfortunately, the 2022 drift season has come to an end. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 But fortunately for you, in this video, I'll be sharing some tips with you on how you can spend your off season wisely to get ready for the 2023 drift season. This ought to be good. Stay tuned. The three points that I want to explain to you about would be saving, expanding your knowledge, and practicing using a sim racing rig. As you can see over my shoulder here, I have my sim right here. This is where I'm going to be practicing for the majority, well, all of the season. And this is how I'll be getting ready for the next year. And hopefully I can maintain some skills. Getting practice with sim drifting, saving your money by establishing a budget, and increasing your mechanical knowledge by watching various videos, reading books, and overall just increasing your knowledge because you don't know what will end up helping you next season. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Now you've already gotten a lot of practice this year by going to various tracks and getting your physical seat time in and your physical car. But now that that's no longer an option, you're gonna have to get your practice in using your racing sim. I'm sure you guys have already started building one. If you've watched my other video, I'll drop a link up here that way you can see um, which one that I went with and how I started putting it together. There have been a slight couple upgrades, but this is how I'll be practicing. Now, the importance of practicing with your sim racing rig is, this, is so that your body can maintain muscle memory. So drifting is one of those things, of course, that you have to feel and you have to do repeatedly to get good at it. Of course, most of your sim rigs won't be able to simulate the G-forces that you'll be feeling inside the car, but fortunately for you, you'll still be able to shift with your pedals, get used to utilizing the handbrake, kicking the clutch, and steering, which are still fundamental tools that you'll be able to need to maintain when you go into the next season. A couple racing sims that I've heard were really good were Forza and Car X. I personally like to use a set of Corza for my drifting needs, so that's what I'm going to be using because it is the most realistic um, when it comes to the force feedback and the feedback that you get from the environment and the tracks are pretty cool and the mod menu is completely insane um, and there's a lot of support for a set of course online there are various facebook groups and chats and discords that you can get in so you can increase your knowledge and help you practice for the coming season i have a good friend of mine actually greg over at street Bandito's youtube he actually recommended i get on a set of corsa and practice drifting a lot because the practice that he put in actually helped him in the real world and the next time he went to the track he was able to let's just say uh <laughs> he was able to perform very well when it comes to the track over a couple quote-unquote pro drivers <laughs> So get your practice with the sim racing rig if possible. And if you haven't already started, at least get one or start pricing it one so you can put it together. That way you can get some practice in before the season, before the season begins again. And you won't be completely caught off guard trying to get your you know arms and legs used to doing those motions again when you get back into the seat of your car. The next thing we're gonna talk about is saving. If you watched my video about how to save money when it comes to drifting, I'm pretty sure you're already really good at saving your money and it's establishing a budget and figure out what costs that you're going to need uh, when it comes to the drift season. But I just want to expand upon that a little more by saying that during the off season, this is the perfect time to save money because we do know that entry fees and tires are going to be your main cost for the next season. So if you could start just funneling away money right now, while you don't have any extra costs, you know, save money on, you know, trying to like buy parts or anything like that, you're going to do that. But while you're still buying for parts, you know, things that you'll need for next year, start to put away a little fund for your entry fees and your tires. That way you're not dipping into your paycheck and you can actually develop a schedule so you can figure out which events you're going to go to and carefully plan it out and make sure you're not overspending or going over budget. That way you don't upset your partner because you're throwing all of your money at drifting without a carefully constructed plan and budget. Of course, creating and maintaining that budget will help you maximize your seat time because you'll be able to carefully plan what events you'll be attending. Again,
again guys i don't claim to know it all uh as you guys know this season was actually my first dedicated season in drifting so i'm still learning things as i go um but if you like these videos and like the content that i'm putting out please remember uh why don't you just go ahead and uh like this video right here uh leave me a comment on some ways that you guys like to spend your off season you know what things do you do in the in your off time to help you prepare for the next season and let me know that way i can add it in here or the next video i'll create i'll be able to share your points that way we can help other beginning drifters like me so they can have a plan moving forward the last thing i wanted to say on how you can spend your off season is learning as humans we're always learning or at least we're always supposed to be learning you should always be increasing your knowledge and an effort to get better not just learning specific techniques when it comes to driving uh, maybe you're not the most mechanically inclined now is the time to pick up whatever book or whatever materials you need to study to learn more about your chassis learn more about drifting techniques in general anything that could help you increase your knowledge because the more you know the better you'll perform and that will help you moving forward when it comes to saving money on repairs in case you learn how to fix something or diagnosing an issue because as we know all cars experience some sort of issue when you're on the track and you don't know what's going on and there's a bunch of us huddled around the car trying to figure out uh, what's going on how to fix it what we can do so i think expanding your knowledge is one of the smartest ways that you can spend your drifting off season because you just genuinely never know what is exactly going to happen again increasing that knowledge will definitely save you as much money as possible or it could save you some money but who knows every dollar counts when it comes to this game of drifting and on that note if you haven't checked out my video on how to save money when it comes to drifting i'm gonna leave it right up here at the end for you so go ahead and watch that and let me know what you guys think when it comes to saving money for drifting if you like this video please remember to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching